Yesterday we closed this program. I had given some misinformation. I said, we're landing on the moon next year. What? I just read it. Yeah. Got a thousand emails. You are such a dumbass. We are not landing on the moon next year. Yeah, in in your defense, I think the news was muddled. Thank you. I do too. I, I, the headlines I don't think matched the story. No. And if you just glance at the headlines. That's right. It's you a, might have been misinformed. It said Americans go back to the moon for the first time since the 1970s. They call it a moon mission. Okay. You know, they're the astronauts who are going to the moon. They're circling the moon. A, a woman, for the first time, I said, is going to the moon. Well, they're circling the yeah. moon. They're not landing on the moon. The, to me, that's like going and driving through Tennessee, yeah. but never stopping <laughs> and saying that, hey, I've been to Tennessee. <laughs> I think it's even, I, I, I say it's a... Uh, so, I'm driving past the exit for Disney World, but not going to Disney World. And so I just went to Disney, Disney World. World. Or, okay. or, yeah. or, yeah. or, here's an analogy. Yeah. Um, landing in Atlanta's airport to transfer on the way to somewhere else and saying, I've been to Georgia. I've been to Atlanta. Okay. <laughs> I count that. You know, I want to see every state before I die. But you don't. Uh, but I w- uh, well, well, you may have as a young man. <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to get a... At one point, my goal was let me be, let me go to every U.S. state. All right, that's no longer in the cards for me. Now I just want to. I, I don't care if I ever leave this state. No. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it takes an act of Congress to get you across the state border. Yeah. I'm not gonna go anywhere. And normally it's just one state too. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> and it's always the same state. <laughs> that's a fact. But at one point in my life, I said, my gosh, I'm going to visit every U.S. state. Yes, yes. You had the map up on your wall. I did. and I But I counted. I had With push pins. <laughs> yes, yes. I flew to California once, and we had a layover in Salt Lake City, and I counted Utah. Now, that's the only time I've ever been to Utah. I sat in the airport for two hours. I've done the same thing. Okay. I count it. I mean, I have, put, I have had my foot in Utah. Mm. Not on the dirt. Just on the the concrete on the second level, probably you know, not even <laughs> yeah. down. Not Never even breathe the air. I, no, no, you were probably in a tunnel from the plane to terminal, and then yeah, terminal back to plane. It's exactly what it is. You walk from one area to you the never other. Never saw the sky. Nope. I looked out the window. They had those big windows, and I saw some mountains out there. I'm like, okay, I've done. So I've, this is Utah. I've done Utah, right? I have been to Utah. I counted. There's a couple of. I counted Kentucky. Because I landed in the Cincinnati airport once. Which like, isn't in Cincinnati. Which is in Kentucky, right? Yeah. It's not in Ohio. I've not... Uh, wait, I had a flight. I had a layover in Cleveland. I'm counting Ohio, Kentucky, and Utah because I had layovers in each. <laughs> okay. But, but, <laughs> the real full 50ers are, are just oh. screaming and pulling their hair out. <laughs> if you thought you got angry moon emails... <laughs> Boy, I did. Yeah, it was funny, too. People were really enraged about it. They were. Do you know nothing? (laughs) Do you know how to follow the moon? (laughs) No. Get your facts straight. Get your... Yeah. I gave erroneous information, but I am with... Chris Tim is right. It was presented like, wow, we're going back to the moon in November of next year. Really, later this decade, they're talking about landing on the moon. Yeah, one of the headlines or one of the, the the stories that I read about the moon. You mm-hmm. know, it's called the Artemis mission. Yes, and uh, Artemis one was unmanned. That's already gone up. Yeah, the people we saw this week. That's Artemis two. They're going to orbit the moon. Correct. The technology and even the space suits for Artemis three haven't even been developed. That's yet. right. They're not even done. I mean, that's how we're mm-hmm. years away. We from are. That. I mean, by. If we get it done in the next seven years, it'll be a pretty big undertaking. Yes. I, say. I hope we do. I mean, I think that'd be pretty cool to see it, you know, a new generation all these years mm-hmm. later seeing land on the moon. But here was the whole point. I gave that erroneous information. Then we corrected it. And we realized that a woman is going to be, <laughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. A woman is going to be on the on the moon flight. And Biggie said she'd be yelling from the back, you know. We did, yeah. There's a Starbucks. I want a coffee. I got to pee. That's it. Lot, okay. Uh, joke, joke, joke. Light screen. Red oh, light. Okay. Are you going to stop? <laughs> and uh, these are all things my girlfriend says. To yeah, me. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, Is she driving the rocket? And uh, Biggie said, God, no. no. She's not driving. No. She's not driving. That's how we wrapped up the program. That's right. And I'm glad you didn't see this because we have a coworker uh, and a dear friend. I'm not going to name her, but uh, a couple of days ago, and and she had parked in the parking lot, and there's for I don't even know why there are a couple of orange cones in the parking lot here. About every six weeks they move, but they're always here. And they move around. <laughs> I think we use them for uh, we have a beer festival where beer trucks have to be parked in here. I 
I want to say we might have used them at Halloween for that delightful trunk or treat event. Probably. But I don't know that. But they, anyway, they just live in the parking lot, and there are cones. Well, one day, Chris Dim got up to do his stretch and looked out the window and said, uh-oh. And he's talking about our coworker. I'm not going to name her. He said she failed the Brady Bunch test because she had run over the cone, and the cone was bent forward at her car. Under cart. her bumper, front bumper. <laughs> How does she not know? <laughs> she Greg Brady did, and uh, that's a now that's, that's a an old fifty year old reference. Yeah, yeah they, I think a lot of people know that one still. Do you think they do? Well, she did because Chris Tim said you uh, failed the Brady Bunch test out there, and she looked at him and she goes, "Oh yeah, I broke the egg," and that's right. They, I was very impressed. I was too. Greg and Marsha Brady would go back and forth. Uh, they they would had a driving test because of course Greg said. No way a girl can outdrive me. And they went through an obstacle course set up by the parents. And those parents, man, they had a lot of time on their hands to Didn't really. They, yeah, they, they really did. Set up all those. I mean, they set up an obstacle course and all the kids came out. You know, mm-hmm. the girls were for Marsha and the boys were for Greg. And wasn't it dead even until they got right down to the very end? You had to park as close to the cone. That's it. With the egg on top without touching. That's it. That was the tiebreaker because they both did the obstacle course perfectly. And, you know, one of the kids said, oh, what are we going to do? It's a tie. And. Uh, Mr. Brady said, not so fast. Pulled out an egg. <laughs> I brought the egg along just in case. Where was it? You don't want to know. <laughs> Is that a chicken egg, Dad? No comments, huh? <laughs> That's the way I treat my kids. Just yesterday, I uh, was paying my court costs for my recent <laughs> ticket online. And I said to my kids, you see, kids, when you do something like this, you have to... Find an attorney who will try to <laughs> knock your ticket. This way you escape punishment. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see uh, there are always repercussions yeah, when that's you do right. something like that. You see, kids, I was speeding. <laughs> really speeding. But according to this now, I have improper equipment. <laughs> What's improper on our... Uh, nothing, son. There's nothing. nothing improper about that vehicle. We got it knocked did, down. Did you lie, Daddy? <laughs> We don't call it lying. <laughs> we get an attorney. We get an attorney to fight that battle mm-hmm. for us. And then that's it's a game, the, son. It's a game that mm-hmm. we all play with insurance and lawyers and court systems. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, at the end of the Brady Bunch, Greg, Marsha gets within like an inch and a half of the of the cone mm-hmm. and does not knock off the egg. You got to get as close to the cone without knocking off the egg. Greg panics at the very last. Just, just oh. has a spastic moment. <laughs> And just destroys it. It's cold, egged out, egg broken. Marsha wins. Marsha wins. That's how you know that show is fictitious. <laughs> <laughs> because in real test. life, that would have never, they would have made it past the obstacle course. <laughs> well, and plus, Greg was a little older. I mean, Greg had more driving well, experience. I was trying to remember yeah. the hierarchy. Were they the same age? Were they different ages? I feel like Greg was about a year older, you know, I think. Yeah. I think because. Uh, you know, he got to move up to the attic. He got to be, you know, all of those things. Yeah, he did have more of the, the, like, the older privileges. Yeah. I think Greg was a yeah, little older. Maybe a than year Mar- older. I felt like he had been driving and Marsha was getting her license. Mm-hmm. And there were and he made some comments like, oh, yeah, right, a girl can't drive. And mm-hmm. so she challenged him, or the challenge was made. And, that yeah, okay. and he was right. <laughs> <laughs> so all of that yeah. came back to us yesterday uh, via your comments about the moon and then our coworker, who I'm not going to name, who did fail the Brady Bunch yeah. test by just smashing that mm-hmm. cone out mm-hmm. there. And you guys aren't don't live as much in the meme world, mm. but I mean the memes are out there so accurate about women driving. It's just like a crash car going oopsie. No, no. <laughs> and you know, I want to point out every time we talk about this, it's women that call in and back me up on this. I am a terrible driver. My girlfriend. Is a horrible driver. Is she really? Yeah, and she just she is the that meme. She is crash bang oopsie. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and I, I tell her all the time, like I'm never getting the car with you. Well, I'm not a good driver, so I can't really say anything there.